Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knots Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knots Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making the scrappy blanket cardigan. Now this cardigan comes in size small and medium. They are a two size difference, so small slash medium, large, extra large, two and three X, and then four and five X are all the sizes that this project comes with. You will be using double strand for this project. These could be in scrap yarns. I mean, it is a scrappy blanket, um, but what I'm doing is taking this bin of all of these um, one single skein, partial skeins, because I have a lot of this one, I'm gonna use this one as my first strand, and then just mix in different kind of um, yarns that I have single strands of or partial balls and those are the scraps that I'm going to be using and you are going to need approximately two and a half to three pounds of yarn the yardage is very difficult to say exactly how much but approximately a thousand yards of each strand at the smallest and approximately 16 to 1800 yards at the largest size. Now we'll be using two sizes of hooks today. The eight will be for the body and the arms of our project, and then we will move to a six and a half millimeter hook just for the sleeves where the cuff is. Now let me show you exactly how we're going to work this project. This project is basically a rectangle with arms. So our starting chain is going to be the length of our project from the back of our neck all the way to the bottom um, underneath our bum, okay? We're gonna first work in rows for the front panel. And then we're gonna leave a hole for the arm. And then we'll continue to work the back panel. We will then leave a hole for our arm. Remember our rows are going this way. And then we'll work the rest of the front panel. So we'll have one large rectangle with two holes for the sleeves. And then we'll work our sleeves on each side. Okay, now this is a really simple four row repeat. We're just working double crochets and V stitches. So go ahead and grab your yarn and we will get started. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your double strand and you're gonna go ahead and do a slip knot. And now the first step that we're gonna do is chain 81. 81 is going to be for all sizes. If you need to adjust the length, remember this is gonna be the length from the back of your neck down to the bottom of the back of your panel. If you need to adjust your length, you will add or subtract in multiples of three. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my 81, and then I'll come back and show you how to get started on row one. Okay, now that we have our 81 chains, we're gonna start with what we're calling a stacked double crochet. First, what you're gonna do, I'm sorry, we're gonna start with a stacked single crochet to create a double crochet. So what you're going to do, because we're not putting edging, on this cardigan, we're going to make our edges as straight as possible. So instead of just doing a chain three or a chain two and a double crochet that leaves crooked edges or a gap, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And now, see how there are two front loops of the single crochet? There's this one and there's this one. We're gonna go into the second front loop, the inside of the work, and we're gonna make a single crochet. Now that is how we are stacking our single crochets to create a double crochet. 
And now what you're gonna do is double crochet into every single chain space all the way to the end of your work. So in the end, you should have 80 double crochets and that also includes your stacked single crochet to create a double crochet because it is a double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my row out and then I will come back to you and show you how to get started on row two. Okay, I've just finished my first row. Now we'll go ahead and turn our work. We're turning after every row here. And we're gonna also again start with the stacked single crochet. Now we're not chaining one after we turn our work. We're gonna go straight into the top of the first stitch, make a single crochet, and then single crochet into those first, that front loop of the single crochet. Not the outside of it, the inside of it. Can you tell? There's one front loop here, and there's one front loop here. This is the inside, this is the outside. We're going into the inside and single crochet. Now we are going to double crochet into every stitch all the way to the end of the row and you should have 80 double crochets yet again. You're gonna do that for two rows. So you should have three rows of double crochet when uh, you meet me back here to get started on row four. Okay, so I want to show you guys this. When you get to the end of one strand and you want to add another color, you can do what you normally do, make a knot weave in your ends. I like to use the magic knot so that way I don't have to weave in ends. There are no ends to weave in. So what I'm going to do is place the two ends right next to each other. Let me snip this one and make sure it's nice and straight. So we're placing the two ends together and now we're gonna hold it snugly with just the tip pointing out. All right, now we're gonna take our new yarn and we're gonna wrap around our thumb and the yarn two times. All right, place your finger back just like this. And now what you're gonna do is take this new yarn and put it in between the yarn and your thumb. See that, it's in between. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it over that, like tuck it in there real good. Now hold that really tightly and start pulling on your new yarn. And there is our knot. Now if you pull this really tight, the yarn is gonna break before the knot breaks. Now it might take you a couple of tries uh, to get the hang of it, but that's okay. Just keep practicing and you will get it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. I have two rows of double crochet. I'm gonna finish out that third row and I'll meet you back here for the next. All right, so I've made it to the end of row three and we're gonna get started on row four. So you should have three rows of double crochet and getting started on row four, what we're gonna do is start again with a stacked single crochet to create a double crochet. And that's at the start of every row. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is skip one stitch and into the next stitch, make a V stitch. So that's a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet into the same stitch. Now, you're gonna skip two stitches. One, two, and make a V stitch into the third stitch. And this is what our repeat is going to be. All the way down to the end of the row, skipping two stitches, V stitch into your third stitch. All right, 
So finish that down all the way to the end until you have two stitches left and I will meet you back to show you how to close out the row. Okay, so we have made it to the end of the row. You should have two stitches left, one, two. So now we're gonna skip one stitch and put a double crochet into the last stitch. And this is our repeat row. We have three rows of double crochet and then a row of V stitches. So we're gonna repeat that. So you will turn your work, do a stacked single crochet to create a double crochet into the first stitch. And now we will double crochet into the double crochet, double crochet into the chain space of your V-stitch and double crochet into the next double crochet. So you're gonna do that all the way down. It's just a row of double crochets, okay? So what you're gonna do from this point, okay? I know it's kind of hard to see because of all of the colors of the project. Um, but what we're going to do is, if you are working the size small and medium, you are going to have four repeats. So this is your first one, and then you're going to repeat one, two, three, four, three more times. So you should have a total of 16 rows. If you're working the size large, extra large, you're gonna have a total of five repeats. 2x, 3x, you're gonna have six repeats. And then 4x, 5x, you're gonna have seven repeats. And then all sizes are gonna do one more row of double crochet. Okay, so work your repeats anywhere from four to seven repeats. And then one more row of double crochet and then then we're gonna begin our arms so I will meet you back here after you've done all of your repeats and that one extra row of double crochets and we will begin the arms okay I have completed all of my repeats and I'm finishing off with a double crochet row after my V stitch row and now we're gonna get started on the arms okay so everybody's arms start the same. We're gonna do a stacked double crochet into the first stitch. Well, a stacked single crochet. And now we are gonna double crochet 15. All sizes will double crochet 15. It's one, two, three. So now that you've got your 16 double crochets, small, I'll go ahead and actually leave the numbers scrolling up on the screen per each size, how many chains you're gonna do, and then we're gonna skip the same amount of stitches. So the size I'm working is 24 chains. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And now I'm going to skip 24 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And in the next stitch, I'm going to go with a double crochet. And now we will double crochet all the way down to the end of the row. Okay. So once you've finished that, this is the armhole. When we come back with our double crochet row going this way, you're gonna double crochet into each stitch, into each chain, just like we did in row one, so that our stitches don't shift, okay? So finish out the row with double crochet. 
The next row will be our third double crochet row of the repeat. And then you'll go ahead and again, begin with your, your repeats, um, the V-stitch and the three double crochet rows. So the amount of repeats that you're going to have are gonna be just one less than what you made for the front. So if you had four repeats on the front, you're gonna have three repeats in the back. If you had five repeats in the front, you will have four repeats in the back. So to sum this up, what we're working on now is not part of our repeats, it's part of our arm. We have our first double crochet row. Our second double crochet row is part of the armhole. The third double crochet row will be next. Then you'll have your V-stitch row and then we will do our repeats. And then we're gonna do the same thing all over again, finishing after our repeats with an extra double crochet row, and then doing the same thing for the arm on the next one, okay? So let me explain this a little bit better to you. Okay, so when we do our repeats, so for example, if this is a size small, there are four repeats, and then we have where the armhole is as far as the um, double crochets and the V-stitch row, and then you'll have three repeats. And then you'll have the extra double crochet row, the armhole, the extra double crochet row, and the V-stitch row. And then you'll have four repeats again. So it'll be the front two panels, four and four, and then the back is less one. So if you're doing the medium large size, you would have five repeats, four repeats in the back, and then five repeats on the other side. Same thing as the 2X and 3X, that would be six, five, six, and then the 4X, 5X would be seven, six, and seven. All right, so hopefully that is a little bit more understandable. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the body of mine and then I will come back so I will teach you how we can work out the arms. Okay, so getting started on the arms, you'll start on either arm space that you have, one side or the other. They're both gonna be done the same. And we are going to take our yarn, we're still working with our eight millimeter hook. And you can start by joining with uh, a slip knot, chaining two and doing a double crochet, I am going to join with a standing double crochet. It's not really gonna be a diff big difference, so whatever really your preference is. Okay, so we are going to start right here at this double crochet at the bottom of your armpit. And we're gonna start with a double crochet. I'm starting with a standing double crochet. Right, so that is your first stitch right around the post at the bottom of your armpit. Now we're gonna place two more double crochets right around that post. So you should have three to start with. So just like that. And now we're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way up to the top of our armpit, the double crochet post at the top. So these are the top of our double crochets here. And we're going to double crochet into each stitch until we get to the top. Okay, so when we get to the top, we have this double crochet post. This is the top of our armpit, so we just worked up, and here's the top. We're gonna to place three double crochets over that post. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to double crochet into every stitch going back down the bottom where we started. So this stitch is worked because that's the double crochet post we just worked. And on this side, I am working at the bottom of the chain spaces. And I'm just going to double crochet 
all the way down that until I get to the bottom of the armpit where I just started. Okay, so now that I'm back to the bottom where we started, I have worked my last double crochet into the last chain coming back down. And now I'm gonna slip stitch to join. Now I'm just gonna slip stitch over one so that we can start right into the third or the middle stitch here at the bottom, all right? So now getting started on round two, we are not turning our rows for the armpits. We're just going around and around and around. So for round two, we are going to chain four. Now this chain four is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. Now you're gonna double crochet into the same stitch that we started in and that's going to create our first V stitch. Now we'll skip two stitches, so one, two, and then we're going to V stitch into the next stitch. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around until we get back to this part. Skip two stitches, V stitch into the next, when you come all the way back, you should have two stitches left, and then we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the third chain. So let me work my way around, and then I'll meet you when I get back to the beginning. Remember, skip two stitches, V-stitch into the next, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so now that I have made it to the beginning of where my row is, I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of the third chain to join. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the chain space. So I'm starting in the middle of the V stitch. And now we'll chain four. And that again is going to count as our double crochet and our chain one. We'll double crochet into that V stitch. And now we're gonna V stitch into every V stitch all the way back around. So work a V-stitch into every V-stitch all the way back around your arm and I will meet you back here again. Okay, getting started on round four for our arms. We finished our last V-stitch and now we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the third chain space. And now we're gonna slip stitch over. So here's gonna be how we are gonna first be decreasing in our arms, okay? So we had row one, two, and three. Row four is gonna be part of our decrease. So we're just gonna chain three. That's it, we're not putting a V-stitch into there. We're gonna go straight from here and we're gonna V-stitch into the next V-stitch. And now we're gonna V-stitch into every V-stitch all the way around up to the last V-stitch here, and then we'll slip stitch to the top of that chain three. So go ahead and place your V-stitches in each V-stitch and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so now I've gotten back to the other side and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain three to join. Okay, now we're gonna repeat round three for rounds five through eight. Now round three, if you remember, we were slip stitching to the chain space. So round three up here, we slip stitch to the chain space and we put our V stitch into every stitch all the way around. There was no decreasing, there was no increasing or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're in the top of our chain three, slip stitch over to our chain space. And now we will chain four, double crochet into our first V stitch. And then V stitch into every V stitch all the way around. Now when you get back to this point, 
Remember, you're joining to the top of your third chain and then you are slip stitching into your chain space. So your first V stitch should be into this first chain space for your next round. So you're gonna do that for rounds five through eight. This is five, six, seven, eight. So you should have four rounds of V stitches, no decreasing and no increasing. And that's how we're gonna work this one out, okay? And then I will meet you back for round nine because we will decrease again in round nine. Okay, you guys, I have just completed round eight. So remember round four was this round where we just had a chain three. We we're basically eliminating the V stitch from round three. So round four had that chain three that was basically eliminating the V stitch from round three. So we had, this is your decrease row. And then we did one, two, three, four rows of V stitches. Now we're gonna do a decrease row again. And round four, five, oops, sorry, four, five, six, seven, and eight are going to be your repeat rounds. So remember in two for round four, we slip stitched over to our V stitch and we chain three. And then we work directly into the V stitches, creating a V stitch in to each V stitch all the way around. And then when we come back, we're slip stitching to the top of the third chain to join, okay? And then remember round five, we slip stitch over to the center of the V-stitch and begin our V-stitches that way, eliminating essentially this chain three. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. This is your round four, which had your three chains, then working your V-stitches all the way around, coming around with your last V-stitch and slip stitching to the top, okay? So this V-stitch turns into a chain three, and then it just becomes eliminated in the next round. Slip stitching over to your chain space, and then working Vs all the way around, slip stitching to the third chain to join, and then working that over. So you're gonna repeat that rounds four through eight, however many times until you get the desired length of your sweater. Typically, you're gonna repeat it about two more times. Now you can stop at any row. You don't necessarily have to do the full repeat. Um, just till you get to the desired length, and then we'll switch out our hook size to work the cuff. And then I will go ahead and meet you back here to show you how we're gonna get started on that cuff. Okay, so I have finished my sleeve. It should be a lot wider. So right now is the time that we're actually gonna switch to a six and a half millimeter. And that way we're what we're gonna do is make the cuff so it's gonna bunch in, okay? So what we're gonna do for round one is we're gonna go ahead and chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch. And what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna skip all of these chain spaces of your V stitches and work around the base of your sleeve just single crocheting into your double crochets skipping all of your chain spaces. So the way this cuff is being worked is pretty much just gonna be like a moss stitch. If you find that your cuff is too tight or it's a little bit too loose, you could always change your hook size to go up a size or down a size, or say if it's too tight, then you can just add a couple of uh, single crochets into your chain spaces going around. 
Okay, so I've made it all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch to my first single crochet to join. And now we're gonna get started on the moss stitch part. So we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna single crochet in the same stitch. And then our repeat is to chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next. And I realize the stitches are really hard to see with this yarn and I apologize, but as long as you can hear me, you're chaining one, skipping one, single crocheting into the next. Okay, so when you get to the end of your round, let me just pause for a second and apologize about the background noise. I have a large dog, cats, another dog, kids, and it gets loud. You will have one single crochet left, so you are going to chain one, skip that last single crochet, and then we'll slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. And now we are ready for round three. Round three will be your repeat round. And what we are going to do is slip stitch first into your chain space. Now you will chain one and single crochet into your chain space. Chain one, skip your single crochet, and place a single crochet into your chain space. And that's it. So you're going to do this round, slip stitch to join, and then of course slip stitch over to your chain space. And you're gonna repeat that round until you get, oh, approximately 10 to 12 rows in your cuff. Um, that's really just gonna be dependent on your personal preference, how wide or thick or long you want your cuffs to be, okay? All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching Jolie Knots Crochet. I'm Crystal. Don't forget to find me on Facebook and Instagram under Jolie Knots Crochet. And don't forget to join the Jolie Knots Crochet community group to show us what you've created. Now you're gonna do the same exact thing for your next arm, so you can just go ahead and rewind and uh, get to the beginning part of the video. You're gonna work your second arm again, like I said, the same as your first. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here and we will see you next time.